Kenyo. What's up, you guys? I wanted to explain some of the hoverboard mods um, a little bit more. Um, so this is the glider, the lifter. So basically what that's about is just getting that angle right. You know, really just getting that angle right over these portions of the board. This is open so you can still ollie. This, you know, I think people could be grinded on these plates, really. Um, these are just the first parts. Yes, you guys have brought up some good questions. There's the, the weight issue. When I hit it, when I'm riding this, is it just going to slide up? No, but it makes it a lot easier. Same thing with these. Um, and so, yes, we still have to figure out. I'm thinking about some different things. Uh, like I said, the, the ollie, you know, really being able to push back that lever that this back wheel creates actually creates enough force to sustain um, a lot of hover. Um, so I'm thinking about capturing that momentum and energy, transferring it with some water flowing in the board. Um, I have some ideas for that. Of course, you need a, either a good quantity of water flowing back and forth like this, um, or within these portions right here, in order to store and create the momentum necessary to move the board by itself. Um, but I'm also playing around with other ideas. This was in one of my earliest sketches, the the hoverboard reins, as it were. I'm trying to make the most use of the power that the human does. That goes back to the skateboarding energy of this whole thing, you know. The border, the skateboarder is such a cool element of it. And the, the human, when it comes to these things, is such a huge element of it. And I think that that uh, a, a really interesting front cord, when this is the best attachment I've got, it's actually kind of sturdy. Um, I think it could be used to use the hoverboard as a transportation uh, machine. Let's say you put a box of storage materials on top of it and you use the hoverboard to carry it and the foot bar helps you lock that box in so you can move stuff around all over terrains. I'm really thinking about the hoverboard really being the last missing extension of every human being. Just like we all have tons of cars all over the place in our driveways and stuff like that. I'm thinking about, you know, we missed really going all the way in on just the, the, the fact that we can have a plane of existence, a flat plane of existence that we know how to navigate and control, whether it's us on top of it or something that we're pulling or we're pulling and we're riding it. We can have a, a flat plane of existence, a little piece of land that is quantum, that we can do whatever we want with that, that um, we can put anything on it. It doesn't matter what the terrain is all about. It doesn't matter if we're going up steps, down steps, if we're going over or a couch or anything like that, this thing stays flat, it stays stable, and it's a controllable piece of land that we can um, harness. So that's what I'm thinking about with these technical additions. And so this is really cool already. One of the sturdiest additions had to add a top metal plate on the top. Um, you can see some of that, um, you know. And the tape, you know, uh, I made a little video of me putting the hoverboard together and I'm going to share that too. I think tape is the best. I would recommend, you know, for the people who do, oh, hit the link in the bio, go get, if you want to know more about, um, I have the, the podcast in the link in the bio. So, so I'm going to be doing longer. I'm going to be talking more about the hoverboard and longer, you know, explaining things in longer form. So subscribe to the, the podcast. The link is in the bio. Hit that. Um. You know, but so for also, you know, as we continue to develop, these plates are really cool. Waxing them up, like some people said, um, super key. Um, and for, you know, these are, the plates are in the link in the bio too. So if anyone cop those, because um, you just want to try them out, you want to be a hoverhead, modified try around and post your videos on TikTok too, if that's what you're about, you want to get them. People are like, why'd you post them so early? My thing is speed, guys. Why? Because I'm not doing this for any other reason other than to really create this category of vehicle, legitimately. So yeah, um, I want more people to get them. Um, so, but I think tape, use tape to, hopefully you have an extra board and you're not using your main board on this, um, but tape them to your boards. Why? I don't want you doing screws or anything like that. Um, I don't think that's good. I don't think anything else, glue, screw, screws, that's all too destructive. When I get to the next version of these, past the mod edition, Oh, see, that's coming off right there, but I can just add more tape. When I get to the next version, I'm going to have clamps so that these, the front ones, can clamp in. Front ones can clamp in. This little piece can clamp in. The battery that I have taped in there, instead of tape, we'll be using clamps for everything. Um, that'll probably be the way that we'll fix the mods to boards, but that way people can choose their own boards. You know what I mean? 
but you can always attach your mods to them. So, yeah, I hope that explains a little bit more. Um, I appreciate the thousands of you who've dropped by the website lately. A few of you jumped onto the mailing list. A lot of you looked at the product. You sent me messages about it. I've tweaked some stuff. Um, but just thank you guys, um, all of you who are so dope about making this fun and really getting in on this science stuff with me. It makes it awesome. You're awesome. Great rules, find the truth, make it right. Just need a green light, pay dues, California.